The Frank Rizzo statue in Center City, Philadelphia continues to be a hot button issue. Now we've told you about calls to remove the statue, but there's also a petition to keep it and the support is growing. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe is live outside of the city's municipal services building where the statue currently stands. Good morning, Trang. Well, good morning, Jim and Rahel. The barricades to protect the statue first came out yesterday morning after a man was arrested for egging it. And overnight, we saw that protection really beefed up. There were about two dozen officers out here and three sets of barricades. But now that has been reduced. Uh, just a handful of officers here outside the statue with uh, one set of barricades. Because last night, there were a number of people who gathered here at this statue demanding it be torn down after attending an anti Anti racism march. Fools three, high streets. Fools three, high streets. A cross section of Philadelphia, a thousand people strong, marched down Broad Street Wednesday night to be a collective voice against racism. This in the wake of a white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia over the weekend that turned violent. Organizers called the local demonstration Philly is Charlottesville. Racism has no place in our society, in, in our nation, and we will fight to uphold the laws of freedom. We have such a long raid to go. I've been marching in marches like this for 50 years. I'm old, but I'm not tired. The march brought a number of different groups together for one cause. Police Commissioner Richard Ross says the crowds remained peaceful and no one was arrested. We understand and respect everybody's right to protest. Uh, that's what this country was founded on. While many packed into the Arch Street Methodist Church for a prayer service, a much smaller group surrounded the statue of former mayor and police commissioner Frank Rizzo, demanding it be removed. Those calling for removal cite allegations of racism and brutality against African Americans during Rizzo's tenure. I think that it needs to come down one way or another. Um, I am not necessarily committed to which way it comes down. I'll tell you I'll be happy whichever way it happens. In the meantime, Philadelphia police set up additional surveillance cameras and barricades to protect the statue following two incidents of vandalism for which one man was arrested Wednesday morning. And on the other hand, a petition started by a South Philadelphia man to keep the statue in place has garnered more than 16,000 signatures since Tuesday afternoon. The organizer says he wants to set up a meeting with Mayor Kenny and Councilwoman Gim, who is calling for the statue to be taken down. The mayor's office says it is open to discussions. But for now, we're live from Center City. I'm Trang Do, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Rahel and Jim, back to you. Definitely strong feelings on both sides of that, Trang. All right, thank you.